Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at the isomers of hexane. And by the way, I'm using my own notation to make it easier to see the various isomers of hexane. Here we have the straight line hexane where we have the six carbons in a row in a string. It's called N-hexane. And obviously each carbon would be connected where possible with a hydrogen. Three for the ones at the end and two for the ones in the middle. So that the chemical formula would be C6 and H14. And all of these have the same chemical formula of six carbons and 14 hydrogens. So what are some of the isomers? Well, the first thing we can do is remove one of the carbons and three hydrogens, make a, a um, metal subgroup of that or a metal group of that and attach it to any of the carbons in the middle. We can attach one to the second carbon, we can attach one to the third carbon, but we don't need to attach one to the fourth carbon because then we would have the same again as what we have over here. We simply have to turn the molecule around and it would have the exact same structure. So the way we name these is since we connect it to the second carbon here, we have a two methyl pentane. Methyl is of course the group over here and pentane is the remaining five carbons in the string. Here we call this three methyl pentane because the methyl group is connected to the third carbon and pentane again because we have five carbons in a string there. Then we have two more options in which we can connect methyl groups to the string that we have. We remove another CH3, now we have three, uh, two methyl groups and we connect both of them to the second carbon or one to the second carbon and one to the third carbon. This one is called 2,2 because both of them are connected to the second carbon. Dimethyl because there's two methyl groups and butane because now there's only four carbons left in the string. Of course, again, imagine that the carbons here have hydrogens connected to them, three of them here, two of them there, and three of them there. Here we have what we call 2,3 dimethylbutane because one of them is connected to the second carbon and one of them is connected to the third carbon. Regardless if you start counting from the left or start counting from the right, you get the exact same result. But then you may say, well, can't we come up with another isomer? For example, could we do this instead? We have the four carbons and then we connect the two methyl groups like this, CH3 and CH3. Is that a different isomer? And the answer is no, it is not. Because what you could imagine is that this here is a single string of four carbons. And then we have a metal group connected to the second carbon. And then we have a metal group, this would be CH3, connected to the third carbon, just like we have over here. So this would look no different than this if we had connected both of them like that. It looks different because the way we draw things on the board, but actually structurally it would not look different at all and therefore it would be exactly the same as 2,3-dimethylbutane even if we took this uh, metal group and connected it to the carbon like this, we'd have the exact same structure as we do when we connect it like this. So there's only a total of five isomers when it comes to hexane and these are the ones.